use your brain Your perception Use your imagination Even reality is mostly in your mind But I thought it'd be nice to do something that's really kind of personalized and talk with the audience a little bit, show my paintings, uh, play some improvised material and stuff that I don't usually get to do. So I thought we might talk a little bit if you want. Questions and answer kind of things. Anybody have a question? How have I been? Well, I've been damn good. Thank you, sir. I've been busy and happy and doing lots of good things and uh, really enjoy my work, I enjoy my life, I enjoy being around people like you. Can I speak of my paintings? Well, uh, what would you like me to say about my paintings? Um, I started painting just out of the blue, uh, just another form of self-expression. I, I don't think I'm a painter. I wouldn't want to offend any real painters. Uh, I just like to get in there and just start making things happen and dabble around until it looks like something I like. And, uh, you know, I figured, well, maybe if I come up with something I like, I could use it as, as record covers. If, and if not, then it's just something for fun. And uh, so that's why I did it. And I'm still doing it. And I really do love it. It's, it's a lot like music. It's very similar. Um, progression of things you're dealing with depth and dimension and tonal things and uh, you know similar to music so it just exercises another part of the creative brain I hope and it's just kind of a different side of what I'm doing and I've got a whole lot of new gear and new ideas and new things that I want to share so I have a long-term idea of what I want to do with this with you know video screens and sort of the, the Laurie Anderson effect but um, for now this is working, it's really, really fun, and I think the audience gets to see a whole different thing that I don't do in any other format. With the looping and stuff that I do, I, I set things up in a way that, it, that I can at least try to find a way to lose myself in the music like I would do if, it, if I were playing with a band. right now have gotten in my mind that I would like to do as much power trio stuff as we could do but I can't do it constantly it's just not out there to be done you can't tour the power trio 360 days a year I would like to do as much of that as possible and when you can't do that I'd like to do the one man painting with guitar things and that would make me a very happy balanced musician Um, if King Crimson, if Robert decided to do more Crimson, I would love to do that, of course, but I don't think that would take much time. Um, I think we could probably fit in an, another Bears album somewhere down the road, but that wouldn't take much time either. So my, my approach right now is kind of a two-pronged approach. You know, you've got the powerful rock band for, for when that's appropriate, and when it's not, you do this kind of really out there art, artistic thing, and that's what I want to do. Thank you.
Bears started playing here, I think, way back in the 80s, we played here. So we've been here pretty much probably as long as this place has existed. Um, played a couple times at the Power Trio. I played, I think, an acoustic solo show here. Uh, now this kind of show. So, you know, I have a pretty long history with Mick Montgomery. He's a, he's a good guy. I like this bar. It's, it's really... It's like an old tavern. It's it's a it's a place where people can shout and kind of you know rock out, or they can sit like tonight and just kind of take it in and listen. So it's a neat place. I like it. Picture of a bird trying to fly, but he can't. You forgot to draw the sky. <laughs> Picture of a bird trying to fly, but he can't. You forgot to draw the sky.